Hi guys, and welcome to The Supper Model. I'm here today with Alexander Archibald of Petit Tenu, and we're gonna show you the art of the scarf with the perfect scarf incorporated summer braid. I wore this look to the Hermes Fall Winter 2014 fashion show. It's the greatest evening look I've ever had. We've got our beautiful Hermes scarf here, and now I'm gonna show you the products you're gonna need to create this beautiful look. First, an excellent mousse, some dry shampoo, an excellent strong hairspray, a teasing comb, a little clear elastics, the Orbe texturizing spray, and lastly, you'll need bobby pins to secure the whole look together. So this is how you're gonna create this amazing look. You are gonna start with majorly teasing the hair, going from front to back. And I want you to tease it half of the way, so meaning go to the middle of the strand of your hair. You're gonna take it in sections, starting by taking the middle section and then going towards the right and the left of the center section. You're gonna start to look like a Wookiee, but don't be afraid because this is all gonna get brushed out. But think about how your hair feels when you come out of the ocean and it has that great sea spray and feeling. At this point, now that we've teased almost the entire crown, we're gonna to start to take sections and create a side part. Now this side part is going to be pretty rough because we're going to have to place in the folded scarf. You're gonna want the front to be a little bit more structured, so we brush it down quite a bit, leaving the back with a lot, a lot of texture. And as you can see, it looks like I have triple the amount of hair I have because of the tease. And all of a sudden, that Wookiee look is gone. Feel free to play around with the part. Feel free to play around with how much tease you like. I like a really full look, especially if this is going towards evening. You really want your hair to look completely done. But if it's daytime, you don't need to take this much effort. Place it exactly where we want it on the head and wrap it around the back. And we're leaving the back with a little bit longer of a tail and just securing the scarf at the base of the neck with one or two bobby pins. That's really gonna anchor the entire updo. So you're just gonna brush it smoothly or keep it messy, whatever you prefer. If you like it more like Blake Lively who has her hair kind of flowing everywhere, then you don't need to brush it down. But I like it just a little bit smoother. We're gonna take another bobby pin and secure it at the base of the other ear and then fold the hair over so you do not see the bobby pin. Now here is the braid part. It's extremely simple. We're gonna take my hair and put it into two sections using the braid as the third section and create a loose, long, and thick, simple braid. And what's really great, as you can see, the colors and the patterns come right through the braid looking really beautiful and summery. And it looks like you just threw it up. And I love this look during the summer because your hair gets sun-kissed with highlights, even if you're a brunette, so there's all these colors running through. And just at the bottom, we're gonna take one of our clear elastics and secure it, and smooth it out if you need to. Check it in the mirror. But it's really gonna have this very free, flowing look as it comes down the side. If you need another bobby pin here or there, go for it, and then smooth the hair over so you don't see the bobby pin. And then you should have a pretty stunning look. Of course, tons of hairspray, just to make sure your look does not move. And there you have it, the art of the scarf. The perfect beach braid to go from day to night.